in this episode we are in the French ski resort of Chamrous. Hi, I'm Cos. And I'm Meeks. We self-built our fully winterised wonder bus called Tippy. To chase the snow and explore the mountains in wintertime. Together with our two little girls, we are ski vanning across Europe. Our little family of four are visiting new places and learning new things. We thought we'd share our tips on where to park and camp in the mountains with all of you. Welcome, Welcome to, to Tippy, Tippy Travels. Travels. We visited the French ski resort of Chamrous. This resort is the closest ski area to the city of Grenoble, around about 15 minutes from the city and about 25 minutes from the Payage stroke toll road to and from the UK. It's got good altitude, uh, but very few tourists actually during the week. But the weekends can be quite busy with the locals being it's so close to the city. The campsite costs 25 euros per night and has a great location and good facilities. So come take a look. We start with a tour of the campsite, then the town, and finally a bit of skiing. So I am stood just outside the air. Uh, just down behind me is the main road in uh, that comes up from like Grenoble into the main resort. You then peel off to the right on the first junction into the resort and that brings you onto this road. Just punch it into Google. It's just air de camping. Uh, La Familiales, I think that's what it says. Doesn't sound very French, maybe that's just how I'm saying it. So this is the main entrance to the air just here, and then all the park up places are down here on the left. Uh, as you can see, everybody's on ramps, and that's because this is not level. The air is actually is part of a holiday park, so these cabins here you can rent separately, so it's a good option if you've got friends, they can rent a cabin, you guys can pull up in your van. And the main office is just down here, with the Aquel. So we arrived here with the gate shut, um, but Meeks went down and had a quick check and she found that the office building was also shut and it was because it was lunchtime. And so Aquel basically means reception and that's up here. And this is the main entrance in through to the right. You have the showers and toilets and then through to the left here you've got the reception uh, where I think our friend is here working. There he is. Okay. Bonjour. Uh, just inside the reception building uh, there is a locked door to come through here which uh, they give you the key for and then that brings you into the toilets and the showers and at the end there the basins for washing clothes and dishes. It's all very warm, very nice, very well kept. All the pitches have hookup. Um, here they are. They're all 16 amps. The breakers are on the outside so you can see and should they trip it's nice and easy to get to. Um, so there are some monsters in here. Let me just show you this. Look at the size of that guy. Yeah, it's huge. And then we are here. And there's another set of four points there. And then on the green pillar, just behind there's another set of four. So there's plenty enough. They say there's enough space here for 10 motorhomes. Yeah, so there is plenty enough room um, should you wanna maybe squeeze two onto the same plot if you're two smaller campers. Um, or you, all I'd say is you just need to contact the office first of all. Uh, over here, just outside the air, you've got all the bins. The bus, the Navette, comes up from down there and stops literally on this junction and does a circuit of the entire uh, resort. So every 15 minutes or so you can grab a bus. Uh, we think that the buses stop at about six, just so you know. Now we're just leaving the air to have a bit of a walk. My family and our friend Nick is just uh, on their way up. 250 meters, something like that. And that'll get you to the piste. So just up from the road behind me here, uh, you get to this first lift. Uh, 
uh, the uh, Bashat Bulud. At the six man Bashat Bulud chairlift, there is quite handily a lift ticket station. Let's try it, let's put it into English. Bye. Okay, we're all domain, four hours, small domain beginner. We need to check out where these lifts are and what they do. End of day after 1500 oh, hours. Two Amazing. Hi, All right. So let's try a small domain and see how much that is. One, two. Child, one, two. 64 euros. That's not bad at all, really. Uh, okay, yeah, so as soon as you get up into the main town, uh, the first thing you'll see is this kind of like tunnel thing from the road. If you go through it, uh, you get through to the Sherpa. And then this is the main kind of front de neige, I think they'd call it, just the, the bit where the skiing ends and the bars begin. And as you can see, there's a little magic carpet there and uh, lots of shops. Had a little problem. None of the ski lift pass machines would accept my MasterCard credit cards, MasterCard debit cards, or Maestro debit cards. So, and I don't have any Visa, so I think that might be a bit of an issue here. Um, on the machine, it come up with a, a currency related issue. Not entirely sure why that would be, everywhere else seems to work. Uh, but now they've told me I've got to go to the case. I said they, I went to the tourism office, they can't really help. So they told me they've got to go to the case, which is below the Berenger lift, and talk to them. So the case lift pass office were able to accept my MasterCard. The very nice lady explained that the machines can be moody. Uh, so now on to the skiing, uh, but let's start with a little trivia. What is Shamroos most famous for? Famous for the 1968 Winter Olympics. This place is pretty much the closest ski area to Grenoble. You can actually see Grenoble from here. Uh, it's a little bit dated. We are in the 1700 area of the resort. It's all right, we've had a bit of skiing here. We got a kiddie pass, or the beginner pass, which is 16 euros 50 and that covers for about five lifts, but it's actually quite a good volume of skiing for that amount of money. But actually, when you look up and see the weather, we don't actually want to be going anywhere up there anyway. It's, uh, it's pretty miserable, gray, cold, and the visibility's not brilliant. So we're quite happy messing around on the kids' ski area, and they're, they're gunning to go. <laughs> so this is the main, like, area if you like behind here or on the other side of these shops there is like a kind of shopping mall type thing restaurants shops um higher places i think there's a bank the tourism office is in there so that's very handy and then the next thing is uh to get out of here you just take a little walk up to this lift uh de la loza and this is a magic carpet which essentially starts your skiing day. If you want to ski, uh, let's just call it the right side. If you want to ski the left side and go over 1650, that's the lift you want over there, which is the chairlift. Uh, on our trip, particularly, uh, we have started off in the Southern French Alps and worked our way north um, so that we can get away from here, Chamrouz, and get onto the payage pretty quickly to get ourselves back to England. And uh, so we thought we'd come here to try this place out. Um, it's generally speaking a blues kind of resort. There's blues everywhere. Uh, a few greens, a few nice big greens lower down. Uh, and then off the top and to the left side of the resort, on the 1650 side, there's lots of reds, blacks and blues. So uh, there's a good amount here for everybody. So we're heading off now to a really nice green area, a kitty green area. They've got lots of um, things to ring the bell or whack, little few little jumps. It's quite a nice little kids area. 
The beginner pass covers the arcel lift, the totem drag, the loza drag, and the tapis magic carpet in 1750, and over in 1650 it covers the aguil drag. We are linking the lift pass prices and piece maps in the description below. I know, I'm such a child. So the park up here in Shamroos is actually really, really pretty. Uh, lots of big trees and when there's snow on them, it just looks the part. Uh, everyone's been out this morning because there's been a load of snow last night, which is a bit of a shame because we're leaving now. Um, but everyone's been out clearing off all the ice and snow off everything. But yeah, just take a look. It's pretty nice here. I would definitely recommend it. Okay, so that's us done here. Um, overall, I think we're both pretty happy with it, aren't we? Yeah. It was a reasonable walk through the slope for the kids, but the skiing is really good here actually. They had loads of green runs up and down. We spent all day on the runs of green and blues. Yeah, and we had a lot of fun. Um, there was good snow here, even though it's fairly early season. The resort's at 1750, so it's pretty snow sure. Um, we're about to head back now, and fortunately for us, it's only 25 minutes to get us onto the payage, and then we can hoon, hoon it back to Ingerland. Yeah, anyway, so. That's it from us. Until next time. Yep. Yeah. Like and subscribe and see you later. Bye. Cheerio.